Greetings and salutations, Mega Wizard 79 here with another episode of the Talos Principle. Uh, so in our last episode, we finished two out of the, um, the three puzzles in World 1, so we are just gonna go back there and finish those. And then read that later. Uh, did I read this already? Hmm... I'm finally getting some sense out of the entry in the archive, though it, it at some cost to my san- Yeah, I've already read that one. Oh! Okay... Alright, so... Oop, another QR code? There are hidden dangers in this new world. I have inexplicably escaped death any number of times. I suggest vigilance. Who knows what happens to those who step carelessly too often. Uh, Samsara version 72.1 Controls. Alright, so that, that, and I drop. There we go. Yep, I'm gonna need you. Ah, alright. So, what I need to do is. Stretch you out a little bit. I can do it from here. Grab you. be unobstructed. Realistically... Yep. There we go. Alright. And then... Oh. Hmm. Hmm. I don't have anything... Yeah. So, this can't be the answer. Because I need one of those suckers to put on that. There's no boxes. It's not as far as I can see. Yeah. Okay. Damn it. Um. Okay. Okay. Oh, I stepped it. Right. I'm stepping in it. No, whatever. Anyway. All right. So I'm gonna need one of these suckers here. That's just a given. I'm gonna need you. Yeah, there's no nice way for you to be done, so you have to be that and that. No. There, like that. You. Do you from here? This work? All the way over here. Yep, that'll work. Mm. Okay, now. Right. Put you here. 
grab you. Alright, so you have to be like that. Damn it. Yeah, you have to be like that. Since you have to go that way. Yep. far out for you to work. Um Yeah. Which means you have to be like here. Because this is the only place you get a clear line of sight. But if I can't use that third one to spread you out because I need something to step on that damn box. use one of these guys to basically be the thing. The issue is, though, I, I, I almost need all three of them. Uh, yeah, he's always going to get in the way. Because mm -hmm. this thing's here in the corner. If I do this from here, it's still the same problem. Oh, bloody hell. Okay, there we go. They literally had to be eclipsing each other. Now that's threading a needle. <laughs> that was a fun puzzle. Alright, uh, this one. Over the fence. Okay. Okay, so this is pretty self explanatory. I screwed myself up. Yeah. Alright, I'll try that again. So. Alright, so I pick you up. Put you there. Pick you up. Put you like so. Yeah, but then you're too high. Hmm. Yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory, but it's not a simple puzzle either. Because mm, because of these spikes, I won't be able to pick it up again. So... There we go. I just had to make sure to put the box over on the other side first. Alright, now I can get the fan. Cool. Alright, let's get the last one. 
Okay, I don't see any QR codes. Uh, Road of Death. Oh, that's that sounds very promising. Okay, got a ladder. Got one of these suckers. Turn you off. Holy! Yeesh! Okay. Alright, they can't see me from here. Okay. Ah! Yep, that's my goal. I need to get the box all the way over here without getting shot. Let's see. <clears throat> Epitaph. Child Program Version 72.10023. Codename Samsara. Terminated here. Logic. Program timed out. Final memory dump. But I only... I was stuck. What was I supposed to... I see... I see clouds. Progeny programs. Samsara version 72.2 series. Hmm. So, this is where Samsara died. Alright. Ah. I remember this one. So, the trick here is you need this schmuck to do it for you. So, you just get him to travel it all the way over there. Then once he's over there... You do that! <laughs> oh, you clever, clever bastards. Mine. Boom. I'll be the same! <laughs> yeah. This one would have been a real head scratcher if I hadn't. S I will admit, this one is based on prior knowledge because I don't think I could have ever figured that out. That's for damn sure. I'm I'm a big enough person to admit that. What the hell? Cease! In the time of your ancestors, there were those who did not choose the path of faith. You do not need to fear their ghosts. Fear only that you may become like them. Hmm. That's, uh... Yeah, that's not comforting in any way. All right. All right. Oh, let's read this sucker and then move on, I guess. Hmm. I'll leave the paint be. Oh, right. Oops. There we go. Uh, tell me something. Do you always do as you're told? Uh, am I obligated to answer that question? Um, yes. I only asked because I couldn't help but notice the stash of brightly colored knickknacks you're collecting. Don't you think it's a mite odd that that big voice in the sky keeps telling you to find these doodads, yet forbidding you to use them to climb the great big tower in the middle of it all? I'll climb it when I'm good and ready. You're testing me. I must resist the tower's temptation. Mm. Oh no, he's really gotten to you, hasn't he? You need to forget everything you've been told and just ask yourself, what could anyone possibly do to command such blind faith in their authority? Oops. If I have a maker, how would... Uh, he, he would know my purpose and command my faith. And what exactly has your almighty done to satisfy that condition? He welcomed me into this world. He created the world. He granted me awesome abilities. Now that you mention it, not much. Uh... Did he really? I always figured he just stumbled on this place and started narrating in the blind hope someone would assume he was running the show. Look, all I'm saying is, if I were you, I wouldn't just take anyone else's word for it. That's all. Whatever you do, 
do take care. You have bigger problems than the voice in the clouds. Not very helpful. You don't like to say his name, do you? <laughs> Done. Oh boy. Uh, let's see. Osiris Tech. Okie doke. <sighs> the dying man went onto the scribe who recited in pre midget um, and said, Behold, I am weak of body. My days under the holy sun of Omun Ra are coming to an end. Though I have spent ma my years in service of the two lands, I have not studied the. <clears throat> uh, tell me. You who are wise in the writings of the dead and what lies ahead on my journey, what will I face in the land of the Westerners? Uh, and the scribe spoke, saying, At the appointed times, it is likely the location was changed according to who the copy of the book was made for. The dying man is an avatar of the owner. In the older manuscript, this is read this is rendered as uh, some controversy as to whether it's uh, yep as to whether it uh, the dead man the dead uh, compare with uh, Kenti Amentu, the foremost of the Westerners, a title later given to Osiris. Uh, sometimes mistakes for a mistranslation on Budgie's part, Bungie. Budgie's? Budgie's part. This is actually almost certainly a mistranslation by the ancient scribe. The equivalent portion of the older manuscript is sadly not the extent. Immortality. Okay, uh... Disgruntled... Lomisters... Blogs... The tea. Episode 204. I have no clue what the heck any of that is. Anyway, um, I don't know about everybody else, but I'm afraid of dying. I don't see any reason to believe there is an afterlife. I'm an organism like any other. When my brain stops working, my consciousness will cease and I will be gone. And you know what? I can't just embrace that. I can't say I'm okay with it and I've accepted it or some nonsense like that. I don't want to have an ending. It terrifies me. If I had ge a genuine right now, I'd wish for immortality. Wouldn't wouldn't who wouldn't? Oh. Oh, but you wouldn't really want to be immortal, the pseudo philosophers say. Pretentious drivel. Everybody wants to live forever. Maybe everybody did Maybe everybody deserves to live forever, too, but we can't, so here we are. Live with it, or rather, don't. Okay, got it. Um, alright, cannot load video file. Uh, 24 million views. Uh, my new song with lyrics, my new song with lyrics. Gotta laugh about this stuff. Laughter is the best medicine. <laughs> Lyrics. I've got it. You've got it. He's got it. She's got it. Mom's got it. Dad's got it. Baby's got it. Granny's got it. Laddie's got it. Fatty's got it. Happy's got it. Sappy's got it. Of course. Everybody, everybody's got it. Come on. Jack's got it. Fred's got it. Bob's got it. Dog. Dog is fine. <laughs> Of course, woof 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 woof, dancing dog. Everybody, everybody's got it except dog. Woof, we got it, we got it, we got it. Everybody's got it. <laughs> oh, that is ridiculous. Yeah, anyway, all right, let's go and unlock that fan. Do 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 do. Give unto me your secrets. Oh, right. All right. This... Thank you there. You right there. Oh, no. No. You.
we go. Well, at least it didn't pop out of existence like the other ones did. <laughs> Alright, so the next one will be this thing. Alright, I can't open that yet. Uh, star thing's open, but I don't have enough stars to open it. Alright, let's see, that's one, two. Okay. Yep, this one required a fan. So we had to unlock it. I see all. I know all. My power knows no bounds. And yet your will is free because you were made to be free. It is the very principle of your existence without which the trials of this world would hold no meaning. To seek salvation must be your choice. All right, let's head to the one straight here. The tomb. Hmm. Oh, there's my goal. Oh, hello. <clears throat> okay, so I get that I'm supposed to retrieve these sigils. I don't get why. Sure, the loud voice is telling me to, but this world of his has no context, no purpose, and no foundations from which to construct them. I'm convinced there are answers here if we look hard enough. We have to work together on this. Okay. So, this was dog 55.1 and sheep version 69.1. Alright. Oh, how convenient of them. Alright. Right. Is this sucker to cheat? Alright, and this will allow us to gain access to the room. Henceforth, this door shall be open. Alright, now we can use this. Go to this room with our. Yep! We're just uh, bunny hopping this thing around. Alright. Yep. Pretty sure at some point though we're gonna hit a wall, <laughs> as is the uh oh, bloody hell. Anyway. Alright, so that there. Um Alright, I'm gonna have to rearrange this. Oh, that was the puzzle. <laughs> that was an easy puzzle. I wasn't ex I wasn't expecting it to be that straightforward. <laughs> that was a really easy puzzle. Okay. Anything here? Uh, let's see if I can find some more QR codes. Hey, another thing of paint. Neat. I've come to see that these mysteries are not all for his children to solve. Only the designer himself could ever truly understand the infinite complexity of his creation. I will gaze at his work and worship. One with Faith, version 10.6. Another memory. I keep having these dreams. Great empty cities. Silent roads stretching for miles. The earth from space? All dark. Not a single light to guide me home. But if someone really came from another world, what would the earth look like to them? A wilderness? A wasteland? I don't think so. Even after thousands of years, 
They'd see a world shaped by our hand in every aspect of its being. They'd see the cities and the roads, the bridges, the harbors. And they would say, here lived a race of giants. These dreams, they scare me, but they also remind me that we built all of this. Hmm. I suppose that's one way to look at it. Alright, higher ground. Alright. I need those keys. Alright, I think this will be the last one I do, and then in the next episode we'll do the others. Alright. Okay, I got two of these suckers. So, clearly... Right. That won't let me take them. So, I'm gonna have to do this all from a bird's eye view. Ooh, this is gonna be fun. Alright, let's see. So... Okay, clearly I need to turn that off so I can get access to key. Okay, that's gotta be turned off. Okay, and then I gotta turn that one off next. Okay. So glad these things have like infinite range. Okay, now that I have these keys, I should be able to cheat something. Epitad, Child Program version 10.6. Codename, One with Faith. Terminated here. Logic, worship the designer of the pound, 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 pound days. Then allowed the serpent into his heart. Final memory, dump. I asked the designer for, forgive, for forgiveness that I may join him in the eternal memory. Program prodigy, Sam, at Samzara at Samsara Sheep. Oh! Okay. So, after he was destroyed, he got divided into these three. At Samsara and Sheep. So each one of them has a bit of his personality. Sheep is clearly his more devoted side. Samsara is his skeptical side. I don't know what, um... I don't know how at, uh, what at, really, because we haven't really found many of his to get a good basis on his, uh... personality. I guess someone met their end here. Seems we'll, seems we'll all, uh, seems we're all connected somehow, like distant family relations. Different versions, different series. What are we? Uh, sheep version 69.1. Who cares? Just be grateful we don't have to read anything more about our great designer. Greek version 99.3. <laughs> what a jerk. Okay. So let's see, um... Oh, I... Hmm. Well, we have a conundrum here. Because... Let's see... Well, actually, I don't even have... I can't even see what's over there, so... Yeah, I can't. Alright, so what I gotta do now is... Aha! That's why! Okay, you stay where you were. You stay there. I need you there. Should have looked up here. <laughs> Alright, so... Mm. Crumbs. Oopsie. Alright, so clearly I'll open that first. Alright. Yep. I need to get that sucker in here. And to do that, I need that one. Or the other one. Either or. 
Alright, so yeah. For the time being, you over here. Let's see. Yeah, I can't get a beat on those jerks, but I can do that. Let's see. I can turn that off at least. What I want to do, actually, is probably that. I'm going to end up locking this thing in here, but shouldn't be a, too much of an issue. Let's see, so... Nope. Yeah, I gotta open that. You. Nope. It fell down, didn't it? Come on, sucker. In their path, and no, I have not. I'm gonna have to break their path a little more so I have space to move. That crumbs! <laughs> Getting ahead of myself. Alright. Like... It's alright, it's alright. It's a work in progress. It's a work in progress. Alright, so what I gotta do is first knock him out. That there uh, is nice and long. There we go. Now I just open that. There. Now they're so far out of sync, I can easily run right past them. Okay. Open that. Now the problem is though, even if I get past them. Yep, they're nice and broken apart. Alright, there we go. Alright, so now I have access to this room, but the, the issue is, is now how... Hmm. Yeah. Because I have to, because I have to get into that room. And there's no other way to get into this room, except through here. I need this door open and this door open to make this work. Hmm. Let's see. What a conundrum. Alright, let's see, what can I do here? Oh, I know. I just have to piggyback it. Because I don't need it in there. Just open that. Why should you know? First, I have to have this open. So I then can move one of them over there to open that. There, see? It's just a simple order of operations. There we go. Once I do that, I'm stuck in here. It's fine. Damn it! <laughs> I screwed it up! Okay, um... Alright, we'll just end it right here. In the next episode, I'll solve this. Um, I, I, I won't bore you with going through the whole thing again. I'll just basically show you the end result. Uh, until that time, though, this is Mega Wizard 79 being you all a defeated 
adieu.